Well, New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are waking up a bit breezy this morning with our temperatures ranging in the 30s. We'll remain breezy throughout the day with mostly sunny skies. Let's take a look at our CAVV tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. We are seeing mostly clear skies here this morning, but we are seeing a breeze at around 12 to 15 miles per hour, so it is feeling a little bit chilly outside. On the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, once again, we have seen a stretch of dry weather in the area. It is dry on our radar this morning, and this is due to the high pressure system that is just to the west of us. We are seeing this high pressure system that will allow for mostly sunny skies today. But we will be getting a little bit of a breeze still lingering from that cold front that did pass through last night. Now, Yesterday was really nice. The past couple of days have been above average, but our temperatures are going to be returning back to average this weekend and for next week, and we are even going to be seeing some snow tomorrow. So generally, two to four inches is expected. I am kind of expecting a little more up in the North Country, Mohawk Valley, two to four inches, and the Southern Valleys, maybe one to two inches, maybe a little over two inches. There also may be some wintry mix mixed in if you do live south of Utica, so just be careful of that for the day tomorrow if you do plan to travel. So let's look at that on our skycast. We are seeing temperatures in the 30s this morning, and we will be seeing mostly sunny skies for today with highs in the mid-40s. We'll be turning mostly cloudy overnight, and that wind will die down. Now, waking up tomorrow, it is dry, so if you do have anything planned, make sure you do it earlier in the morning. That snow does look to come in at around 10 to 11 a.m. tomorrow. It does look widespread for our area, and that wintry mix is possible if you do live south of Utica. The snow all looks to clear out at around 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Sunday morning. A few scattered snow showers may be lingering Sunday in the early morning hours. Before today, we have a high in the low to mid 40s. We are going to be seeing mostly sunny skies, but it will be quite breezy. That winds will calm down overnight for mostly cloudy skies and lows in the 20s. So we are going to be seeing some widespread snow for the day tomorrow. A few snow showers lingering Sunday morning, but then drying out for some sunshine. The sunshine remains for Monday and some possible snow showers throughout the day on Tuesday. Back to you, Gary. Anna, thanks. Last night's Comets game against the We're saying good morning to Pasico and all of the greater Utica region. So here is what we are estimating for snowfall. A general four to six inches for north of Utica as well as the North Country. Two to four inches for Utica and the rest of the Mohawk Valley. And one to two inches for the southern part of the Southern Valleys. There also may be some ice down here as the wintry mix does come into the area, especially if you do live south of Utica, of Utica in the evening hours. So if you are traveling at all tomorrow, I would definitely make sure you get out early. In the morning hours before 10 a.m., we aren't really going to be seeing any snow yet. But by the afternoon, we will be seeing some snow. And in the evening, possibly some that mix coming in. Overnight hours, still some snow. Looking to end at around 11 p.m. going into a Sunday morning. So if you are planning out your weekend, I would definitely say Sunday is the better day. Maybe a few snow showers lingering in the morning hours, but it does look to remain dry and that sunshine does return. On Saturday, once again, we are going to be seeing widespread snow accumulation. And for the Southern Valleys, maybe seeing a mix with some freezing rain and some sleet in there as well. I'll have a look at your commute forecast coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. The heating and cooling company Fred. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are waking up this morning with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies, and we are seeing a slight breeze outside, so it is feeling a little bit chilly. Let's take a look at our CAV Tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. We are seeing a slight breeze with partly cloudy to mostly clear skies, and our high temperature today will reach the mid 40s. Now, on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, Probably the fifth day in a row that I am saying this now, but there is no activity on our radar. We are waking up dry this morning, and we will be seeing sunshine today. This is all due to this high-pressure system that is just to the west for us. 
allowing for mostly sunny skies for the day, as well as a slight breeze still lingering from that cold front that did move through last night. But we will see a big change up tomorrow. Our temperatures go back to around normal for this time of year, and we are going to see some widespread snow returning for the day. The snow does look to start at around 10 a.m., ending at around 11 p.m. on Thursday. Um, Saturday night. We are looking generally at a two to four inches widespread, as well as some mixed precipitation, maybe some icy conditions down for the southern valleys. So let's look at that on our skycast. We are seeing temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s here this morning. Very breezy conditions, and it will remain breezy for the day. Our high today will be in the mid 40s. That is still 10 degrees above average, but feeling a lot cooler than that 61 degrees yesterday. Now, we are going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies moving in overnight with lows dropping into the 20s. And that snow starting just after 9 a.m. for down south for tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow will only be in the low 30s for the high, and we are going to be seeing widespread snow throughout the day. It does look Looks like some mixed precipitation does come in, especially for the southern part of our viewing area in the evening hours. The snow all looks to clear out at around 11 p.m. on Sunday, with maybe a few snow showers lingering into the morning hours. But for today, we are going to be seeing sunny skies with highs in the mid 40s and that wind at around 15 miles per hour. The wind will calm down overnight with mostly cloudy skies and lows in the 20s. Now, we are going to be seeing some widespread snow for the area tomorrow. The snow looks to linger a little bit into Sunday morning, but then drying out for partly cloudy skies, and we will be seeing dry conditions and partly cloudy skies on Monday. Back to you, Gary. Getting more seasonable again. Yes, more seasonable. Those temperatures are back to around normal <laughs> and some snow. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Almost a week after powerful tornadoes tore through Kentucky, the cleanup continues in that state. The National Guard surveyed storm damage in Kentucky from the air on Thursday. More than 300 members of the Kentucky National Guard are helping in the aftermath, clearing debris, performing law enforcement duties, and working to restore power and get essential public facilities running. The latest death toll from the storm in the state stands at 75, with 16 people still missing. President Biden awarded three medals of honor on Thursday at the White House. Master Sergeant Earl Plumley of Oklahoma. Welcome back. We are going to be seeing mostly sunny skies for today, and those skies will be turning overcast for Saturday as we are going to be seeing that widespread snow. The snow looks to clear out on Sunday for numerous breaks in the clouds, and the sunshine looks to make a full return on Monday. So here's the chance of snow. It looks like it will be coming in at around 9 or 10 a.m. Saturday morning, and it is very likely it is going to happen and last throughout the day. This drops off to a low chance in the early morning hours of Sunday, I would say 2 or 3 a.m. So here's the sidewalk forecast for tomorrow. I would just be careful if you are heading outside. Some areas may be slick or icy. For the day, it will be mostly snowy, but then we do have that mixed precipitation coming in for down south in the evening. So tomorrow evening, it may be a little bit icy, and especially on Sunday morning, maybe a little icy as Temperatures drop below freezing for the overnight hours Saturday into Sunday, causing some areas to ice up. I'll have a look at your commute forecast coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. Saturday Night Live. From central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are waking up partly cloudy to mostly clear this morning with a slight breeze outside, so it is feeling a little bit chilly. Let's take a look at our CAV tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. There is a full moon outside, so if you are in an area with mostly clear skies, maybe you can go out and see the full moon and the, scar and the stars, but it is quite windy and chilly out this morning. Now, on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, once again, no activity in our area. We are dry on our radar and we will remain dry for today. This is due to this high pressure system that is just to the west of us, allowing sunshine to dominate the area. But we are seeing a little bit of a breeze left behind that cold front that had moved through last night. So although temperatures are going to be above average, it may be feeling a little bit chillier because of this breeze. 
Now, big changes are in the forecast for tomorrow. We have been seeing warm weather, above average temperatures, and really, really nice weather for December. But we are going to be seeing widespread snowfall come back into the forecast tomorrow. We are looking generally at two to four inches widespread, maybe a little bit more up in the North Country, around four to six, two to four for the Mohawk Valley, and one to two down for the Southern Valleys. There may even be some ice down in the Southern Valleys as some of this. Um, snow does turn into some mixed precipitation. So let's look at that on our skycast. We will remain mostly sunny today with highs in the mid 40s, but it is going to feel a little bit chilly because of that breeze. The wind calms down tonight with mostly cloudy skies coming in to dominate. Our low temperatures will be in the 20s, and waking up tomorrow, we will be in the 20s to low 30s. At around 10 a.m., that is when we start seeing our snow coming in from the south. And once again, the snow will be widespread throughout the day. As we can see down south, during the afternoon and evening hours, mixed precipitation does come into the mix. So just be careful for some slick spots and some icy roadways when driving. The snow looks to all clear out in the early morning hours of Sunday. Before today, we are seeing mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid 40s. Overnight tonight, that wind will calm down from today with mostly cloudy conditions and lows in the 20s. Now, we are going to be seeing that widespread snow tomorrow with some snow showers lingering Sunday morning. Sunshine returns for Sunday afternoon and for Monday, with our temperatures more seasonable in the 30s this week for the high. Back to you, Gary. Last night's Comets game against the Cleveland Monsters was posted. We're saying good morning to Pasico and all of the greater Utica region. We are going to be seeing some snow tomorrow, and here is our updated snowfall forecast as of this morning. Four to six inches is expected for the North Country and the northern part of the Mohawk Valley. Two to four for the rest of the Mohawk Valley, and one to two for the southern valleys. Now down south, it is possible maybe seeing some mixed precipitation and some ice, so just be careful of that if you are driving. So if you are driving tomorrow or traveling anywhere, I would definitely recommend to travel early. We are not going to be seeing some snow coming in until around 10 a.m. Um, for most areas. So a few snow showers in the morning, best time to travel. In the afternoon, we will be seeing that snow. And in the late afternoon to early evening hours is when that chance of that mixed precipitation and ice comes in for the Southern Valley. So just be careful of that. The snow does look to stop in the overnight hours at around 2 or 3 a.m. So if you are planning out your weekend, I would definitely say Sunday is the better day. It will be dry and mostly sunny after some snow showers do clear out in the morning. For Saturday, we are going to be seeing widespread snow and some mixed precipitation for the southern valleys. I'll have a look at your commute forecast coming up. Back to you, Gary. Anna, thanks. The local heating and cooling. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are waking up this morning partly cloudy, two mostly clear skies, with temperatures ranging in the 30s to 40s, and it is a little bit chilly out there with the breeze. Let's take a look at our CAV-V tower camera overlooking the city of Utica. There is a full moon out there this morning, so if you are in an area where there are mostly clear skies, it will be nice to kind of go out and look at the moon. It is shining very brightly outside this morning. Now, on our radar and satellite, we will remain dry once again for the day today with some extra sunshine. This is all due to this high pressure system that is just to the west of us, allowing sunshine to dominate. We are still getting quite a breeze around 12 to 15 miles per hour for today. That is left over from that cold front that had moved through last night. So it is going to feel a little bit chillier outside than the actual temperature. We did get some sky watcher reports this morning of the temperatures. It does look like we are in the upper 30s in the North Country, and then we are in the upper 30s to low to mid 40s here in the Mohawk Valley. And if we do go down to the Southern Valleys, we are ranging in the lower 40s down there. Our high today will reach the mid 40s. But once again, it is going to feel a little bit chillier with that breeze. And we will be seeing some snow come in once again tomorrow. Now, our temperatures tomorrow are going to be in the low 30s, so it is going to be quite cold in comparison to what we have been experiencing this past week, around average. Now, we are expecting four to six inches for the North Country and the northern part of the Mohawk Valley, along with two to four inches in the Mohawk Valley and one to two in the Southern Valleys. So let's look at that on our skycast. We will be mostly sunny today. 
today with our highs in the mid 40s. Our low temperatures tonight will drop into the 20s as increasing clouds do come into the area. The snow looks to start at around 10 a.m. tomorrow. It will start down south and move its way up. And we are expecting a mixed precipitation to form down south as well. So just be careful when driving areas may be icy or slick. The snow does look to end in the overnight hours into Sunday, fully coming to an end Sunday morning. But for today, we have a high in the mid 40s. It is going to feel quite cold out there with that breeze. And overnight tonight, our lows will drop into the 20s with mostly cloudy skies, and that wind will calm down. We are seeing widespread snow for tomorrow. The snow showers linger a little bit into Sunday morning before sunshine comes in for Sunday afternoon and Monday. Back to you, Gary. Anna, thanks. Almost a week after powerful, powerful tornadoes tore through Kentucky, the cleanup in the state continues. The National Guard surveyed storm damage in Kentucky from the air on Thursday. Check that out right there. More than 300 members of the Kentucky National Guard are helping in the aftermath, clearing debris, performing law enforcement duties, and working to restore power and get essential public facilities running. The latest death toll from the storm in the state stands at 75, with 16 people still missing. President Biden awarded three medals of honor on Thursday. Back, we are going to be seeing mostly sunny skies for the day today, but turning overcast as we head into tomorrow with that widespread snow coming in. The snow looks to clear out for the day on Sunday with numerous breaks in the clouds, and the sunshine looks to make a full return on Monday. So here's the chance of snow. We are going to be dry today and early Saturday morning. It goes up to likely just before 9 a.m. on Saturday, so we are going to be seeing snow all throughout the day because it will stay to up into likely. It does look to drop down at around midnight on Sunday and the snow looks to clear out early Sunday morning. So if you are traveling or going outside at all tomorrow, I would just be careful. The sidewalks are going to be a bit snowy as well as the roadways. Tomorrow evening, there could be some ice coming in too, as we saw that mixed precipitation coming into the area, especially if you do live down south. So the roadways and the sidewalks may be a little bit icy, and definitely Sunday morning icy as well, due to temperatures falling below freezing Saturday night into Sunday, kind of icing up that snow. I'll have a look at your day planner for today coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. Saturday Night Live. Welcome back. We are going to be seeing some pretty gusty winds today. We do have wind speeds around 12 to 15 miles per hour, making it feel a little bit cooler than the actual temperature. Our high temperature today will be in the mid-40s. That is still about 10 degrees above the average high for this time of year. And we will be seeing some widespread accumulating snow come into the area tomorrow. So here's what we were thinking, 4 to 6 inches for the north country and the north part of the Mohawk Valley, 2 to 4 for the rest of the Mohawk Valley, and 1 to 2 for the southern valleys with the possibility of some ice and mixed precipitation coming into the southern valleys. But for today, we are going to be seeing mostly sunny skies, and it will be breezy with a high in the mid 40s and overnight tonight those clouds will continue will start to build in with lows in the 20s back to you Gary Hannah thanks today is still a remote welcome back we are going to be mostly sunny and breezy today before a big change up in the weather pattern comes back into the area tomorrow. Let's take a look at our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, showing no activity once again on our radar this morning. And our temperatures are ranging in the 40s, so there's very warm start to the morning. But we are seeing a wind breeze at around 14 miles per hour at the Griffiths Park Airport in Rome, so it is feeling a little bit chillier than the actual temperature. So we'll see some gusty winds today. It is going to be cooler weather, definitely in comparison to yesterday, but we are still above our average high for this time of year. We will see some widespread accumulating snow return to the area tomorrow. This may be one of the biggest ones of the season so far. Now, today we will be seeing sunshine, though, so make sure you go outside and enjoy it. We do have temperatures in the 40s, but it is going to be breezy with that wind coming in at around 14 miles per hour. I will be tracking more of that snow coming up. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. The man convicted of New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Hannah Evans.
Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We are waking up mostly clear this morning, and we will be seeing mostly sunny skies today. Let's take a look at our Cavi Tower camera. Beautiful colors from the sunrise here. Again, mostly sunny skies are in store for us today. Now, on our radar and satellite, we see this is due to high pressure in our area. We will be seeing a little to no cloud cover today, but we will be seeing a breeze kind of left over from that cold front that had moved through last night. So let's look at all that on our skycast. We are expecting some snow tomorrow as well, so we'll get into that too. We will be seeing mostly sunny skies today with highs in the mid 40s. Feeling a little bit chillier because we do have a wind speed at 15 miles per hour today. Now, that wind will calm down overnight, and we will be seeing mostly cloudy skies with lows in the 20s. The snow looks to come in at around 9 or 10 a.m. tomorrow, and it will be widespread throughout the day with some mixed precipitation moving into the southern valleys for the afternoon and evening hours. The snow looks to clear out early Sunday morning at around 3 a.m. But for today, we have a high in the mid 40s. We'll be seeing sunshine and mostly cloudy skies in. The overnight hours with that wind coming down. Here's your seven day forecast. Meteorologist Hannah Evans and Hannah, a bit cooler than yesterday, I would say. Yes, it is a bit cooler outside, and we are seeing quite a breeze at around 12 to 15 miles per hour today, so it is feeling way chillier than it did yesterday. Our temperature right now is at 46 degrees at the Griffiths Park Airport in Rome, feeling about 5 degrees cooler because of that wind coming in at 12 miles per hour. But we are seeing sunshine across the area and dry conditions on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. We are going to remain dry throughout the day today before some snow comes into the forecast for tomorrow. And once again, we are mostly sunny. We see nothing but blue skies across um, central New York here this afternoon, and we will be seeing sunshine throughout the day. Our high is in the mid 40s, but again, feeling a little bit cooler because of that wind. And I will be tracking in that snow that is coming in tomorrow. Coming up, back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. If you have tickets for the SU New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. It is a nice sunny day outside here this afternoon across the Mohawk Valley. Temperatures are in the 40s, but it is feeling a little bit cooler than that with that wind. Let's take a live look at our Morabito Tower Cam overlooking Oneonta. We see nothing but blue skies down in Oneonta. And on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, once again, nothing to report today. We are seeing a mostly dry day, and this is due to high pressure. Now this high pressure just to the west of us is dominating in our area today, bringing us some sunshine. We do have a little bit of a breeze left over from that cold front that did move through last night. So although temperatures are above average in the mid 40s, that is about 10 degrees above the average high for this time of year, it is feeling a little bit cooler because we do have some winds coming in at around 12 to 15 miles per hour. So let's take a look at our temperatures. We are in the upper 30s to low 40s in the North Country here this afternoon. We are in the mid to upper 40s in the, the Mohawk Valley. And the same thing goes for the Southern Valley. So again, we are about 10 degrees above the average high. But a big change in the weather pattern is coming for tomorrow. We are going to be seeing some widespread snow come into the area. We are thinking about four to six inches for the North Country and north of Utica in the Mohawk Valley. Two to four inches south of Utica and the rest of the Mohawk Valley and one to two down south, but those one to two inches could also be some ice. So here's a look at the ice accumulation. It is looking like it may be able to get a little bit icy with some mixed precipitation coming into our area along with this widespread snow. So I would just be careful when driving, especially if you are driving in the Mohawk Valley or further down south for the day tomorrow. So I would definitely say Sunday is the better day of the weekend. We are going to be seeing widespread snow and possibly that wintry mix in the area on Saturday with temperatures in the 30s. Those Snow showers look to linger a little bit in the morning on Sunday, but we do look to dry out on Sunday for mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the 30s. So let's look at all that on our skycast. We are seeing partly cloudy skies here this afternoon, turning mostly cloudy in the overnight hours. Now, upon waking up tomorrow, the snow won't be here yet. It looks to come in at around 9 or 10 a.m. Now, here is that mixed precipitation coming in in the afternoon and evening hours along with that snow and maybe even some rain possible. 
Liverpool down south. This does look to clear out in the early morning hours on Sunday, and it does look to remain dry, but kind of partly to mostly cloudy on Sunday, with highs just in the upper 20s to low 30s. Before today, we have a high in the mid 40s. It is breezy outside, so feeling a little bit cooler than that. And overnight tonight, our lows are dropping into the 20s, and it will be mostly cloudy. So we are going to be seeing some widespread snow come into the area tomorrow. The snow showers do linger a little bit Sunday morning. We are going to be drying out for the day on Sunday, and the sunshine makes a full return on Monday. Back to you, Gary. Hannah, thanks. With the clock ticking down to... And here is meteorologist Hannah Evans. And Hannah, we are definitely lucky to not be them in Kentucky. Yes, definitely. We are still seeing sunshine here in the Mohawk Valley this afternoon. Temperatures are in the mid-40s, but it is feeling a little bit chillier with a slight breeze outside from 12 to 15 at miles per hour. So we are measuring 46 degrees at the Griffiths Park Airport in Rome at this hour. We are feeling a little bit cooler, about 5 degrees cooler, because we do see a wind at around 12 miles per hour. We are dry right now on our Europe Phil Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, and we will remain dry for the day today before some incoming snow comes into the area tomorrow. And once again, nothing but blue skies across the Mohawk Valley. This has kind of been the theme for this week. We have been really lucky with some nice weather before this snow does make a return. Before today, we have highs in the mid 40s. It is feeling a little bit chillier because of that wind, and we are seeing sun. Shine. I will be tracking out that snow coming in tomorrow. Coming up, back to you, Gary. Kind of thanks the surprise court ruling overnight. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Hannah Evans. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. We are seeing sunshine across central New York this afternoon. Temperatures are in the mid 40s, so it is still above average, but feeling a little bit chillier from that wind. Let's take a look at our Morabito Tower camera overlooking Oneonta. We see nothing but blue skies down in Oneonta, and on our Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, another dry day on the radar. This has been the theme this past week dry conditions. Are prominent today in our area. This is all due to a high pressure system that is just to the west of us, allowing for sunshine to dominate today. We are seeing a little bit of a breeze outside that is left over from that cold front that had moved through last night. So temperatures are feeling about five degrees cooler. Let's take a look at those temperatures. We are in the upper 30s to lower 40s in the North Country. We are in the mid to upper 40s in the Mohawk Valley and in the upper 40s to maybe even low 50s in the Southern Valley. But once again, we are feeling a little bit cooler than this because of that wind chill that is happening outside right now. Now, here is the snowfall forecast for tomorrow. Things are going to change. We are going to be seeing some snow tomorrow. We are expecting four to six inches for the north country and north of the Mohawk Valley, two to four inches for the southern part of the Mohawk Valley, and one to two inches expected for the southern valleys. Some ice accumulation is possible as well. So, I did just want to show you this model. We are going to be seeing some ice accumulation. It is a possibility due to a wintry mix coming into the area due to this snowfall because temperatures are going to be ranging in the 30s, so some of the precipitation that we could see could not be all snow. So if you are planning out your weekend, I would definitely say Sunday is the better day. Due to this snow and this mix coming in on Saturday, could cause some slippery conditions on the roadways, and if you are traveling outside, I would just be careful of that. The snow looks to linger a little bit in the morning hours on Sunday, but then looking to dry out for the day on Sunday. So let's look at everything on our sky. We are seeing mostly sunny skies here this afternoon, and we will be seeing increasing clouds moving into the overnight hours. The snow doesn't look to start until around 9 or 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. It does look to be all snow in the morning, with some mixed precipitation coming in in the afternoon to evening hours, and even some rain is possible for the southern part of our viewing area for tomorrow. This all looks to clear out in the overnight hours into Sunday, and Sunday looks to remain dry, but a lot cooler after the system moves through with highs only in the upper 20s. Before today, we have a high in the mid-40s. It is breezy outside, and over
overnight tonight, we will be seeing lows in the 20s with increasing clouds. We are going to be seeing a, some widespread either snow or mixed precipitation for the day tomorrow. So just be careful that the ice and the rain looks to stay south and most of the snow looks to stay north. Some of these snow showers could linger into a Sunday morning, but we are drying out on Sunday and the sunshine returns on Monday. Back to you, Gary. Kind of thanks. The White House has a new plan to get big changes in the forecast. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Yeah, especially for Saturday, we're tracking snow changing over to some sleet and freezing rain. So a wintry mix in the forecast. And because of that, the National Weather Service has uh, brought about a winter weather advisory for all of central New York. Again, this is in effect for Saturday due to that wintry mix. Slippery roadways expected Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. A live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. It is quiet this evening. If you're heading out, no troubles weather wise. Our current temperature is 37 degrees. It's been a windy afternoon, but it's also been dry and it'll stay that way overnight. Snow develops tomorrow morning. Tricky travel in the afternoon and evening as it mixes over to sleet and freezing rain. We are tracking some drier weather though for Sunday. This evening, increasing clouds, temperatures in the 30s. We're tracking snowfall amounts expected before the changeover. A look at that seven day forecast coming up. Kristen, back to you. With one week to go before Christmas. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are tracking widespread snow to start Saturday morning. The roadway is likely to be slippery as we head into the afternoon and evening before it switches over to some sleet and freezing rain. Live look at our Cabby Tower Cam. Things are looking quiet this evening. Again, we're tracking that wintry mix for Saturday. Temperatures in the low 30s. Sunday, we do get a chance to dry out with temperatures near 30 degrees. Sa Sunday looks to be uh, the drier of the two weekend days. And again, things are looking quiet for now. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Temperatures are uh, in the 30s this evening. Uh, Norway, Donna, 36. Uh, Marjorie and Boonville with 33. Cooperstown, 41 degrees. Morris, 41. Helen and Cassville with 35. Temperatures will trend cooler as we head into uh, early next week with highs in the low 30s, which is much more typical for this time of the year. Low pressure will be advancing from the southwest. We can see some rain in Indianapolis, uh, in Cincinnati. This is heading in our direction. And again, this is going to be encountering some colder air. So it turns over to snow as it approaches central New York. Our Storm Tracker 2 Skycast. Snow breaks out tomorrow morning between about 8 to 10 a.m. The first part of this is snow across the whole area, but as warmer air works in in the higher part of the atmosphere, this creates a transition from snow to sleet to freezing rain, especially in and south of the Mohawk Valley. So again, this is not going to be an all snow event for all of central New York. You can notice that even some rain is starting to show up in Shenango and Southern Otsego County by 5 p.m. So pretty tricky forecast here. We've been noticing the, the warm air has been pushing farther north here. So again, likely to create slippery roadways as we head into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. This wintry precipitation heads out as we head into Saturday evening. We'll get a chance to dry out Sunday, chilly Sunday with temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s, but looking dry. As far as the snowfall forecast goes, again, no big changes here, thinking a general Two to four inches of accumulation before the changeover takes place in the Mohawk Valley. South of the valley where that changeover happens sooner, uh, south of Cooperstown to Oneana, about a trace to two inches of, of snow. And then where the changeover takes place longer, if at all, four to six inches of snow heading into the Adirondacks. It's going to be a heavy, wet type of snow. So even just a couple of inches of this sticking to the roadways could make a mess. Again, especially later Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, so plan accordingly. Tonight, cloudy, low of 25. Tomorrow, again, that snow changing over to sleet and freezing rain, especially in and south of the Mohawk Valley, a high of 32. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. The weather remains dry as we head into the first part of next week, Sunday and Monday, partly sunny, temperatures in the low 30s. First day of winter, Tuesday, 34. Temperatures remain in the 30s heading into early next week. Copeland, Jason's off tonight. We start in the weather center. Hope you enjoyed the mild weather because it's all about to change. Widespread snow to kick off the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis is tracking. Sorry, Kristen. Uh, not just snow, but also a wintry mix. So it's going to be pretty messy out there as we head into Saturday. Uh, all of central New York under a winter weather advisory by the National Weather Service. This is in effect for Saturday. 
Again, starting out as snow, but then mixing with sleet, freezing rain, and even rain in parts of the area. So it is looking to be quite messy here Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, traveling wise. A live look at the Yorkfield Batteries Turn Tracker 2 Doppler radar if you're heading out this evening. No worries weather wise. It's been just a breezy and cooler day. Our current temperature is 38 degrees, but we are looking at clear skies. And it's been windy, west northwest wind at 14 miles an hour. Our weather headlines again snow develops tomorrow morning. It switches over to sleet and freezing rain as we get into the afternoon and evening. So, again, tricky travel is to be expected here all across central New York. Uh, we do look to dry out as we head into Sunday. This evening, again, looking at Increasing clouds, temperatures in the 30s. We are tracking snowfall amounts and how the forecast looks heading towards Christmas. And that's coming up. Kristen, back to you. As COVID cases rise. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We continue to track a winter uh, weather event that's going to be arriving tomorrow, bringing us uh, not only snow, but also some sleet and some freezing rain. Let's uh, take a live look at our Cab B Tower Can. This is overlooking the city of Utica. If you're heading out tonight, the weather looks fine. No worries here. It's not until Saturday morning that snow breaks out across the area. And again, that snow is going to mix with some sleet, freezing rain. Temperatures will be in the low 30s. This is out of here by Sunday. We should see drier weather. And uh, Sunday looks to be the better of the two weekend days if you're looking to travel or spend any time outdoors. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Again, it is looking quiet across the region this evening. Temperatures have settled back into the upper 30s. Dollarsville 38, Little Falls 39, Rome 39, across Southern Valleys, uh, Skanibus with 41 degrees, Sherburn 43, and Hamilton with 37. Get the walk in before the snow arrives. Temperatures tonight remain in the 30s. Tonight's featured dog is Honeydew. If you want to be a part of this, head to Bill's Buddies and Facebook. This is brought to you by StaffWorks. We're tracking low pressure approaching from the southwest. The center of this storm system is going to track very close to our area. In fact, so close that part of the warm air associated with it will start to work through the upper part of the atmosphere, and that creates a mixing. So, very likely, this is not going to fall as all snow in our area. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast. Uh, tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, parts of the area seeing some light snow, especially south and west as the system approaches. Again, it starts out as snow. The snow comes down pretty hard early on. There could be some tricky travel, at least uh, for the first half of Saturday, as this snow uh, continues to move through the area. But notice what happens in the afternoon. Starting to see mixing. This is sleet starting to roll through the Mohawk Valley as a push of warm air loft starts to roll through. In fact, some rain is possible, especially south, uh, heading into Shenango and Otsego counties. And then the system comes to an end. Precipitation comes to an end Saturday uh, during the late evening and early overnight. And some cooler weather on Sunday with a mix of sunshine and clouds and temperatures in the upper 20s. As far as snowfall, before the changeover happens, I think many areas pick up an inch or two of accumulation. Again, it's going to be pretty slippery to get around here in the Mohawk Valley. Uh, south of the valley, where the changeover happens faster, only a trace to two inches of rain, where it stays more snow in the Adirondacks, looking at four to six inches of accumulation. And again, either way, uh, whether it's snow or sleet, the roads are likely going to be slippery heading into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, so plan accordingly. Cloudy skies tonight, low of 25. Tomorrow, we're looking at, again, snow changing over to sleet. Even some freezing rain, especially south, temperatures in the low 30s. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. Sunday, we get a chance to dry out, a high of 30. Monday, uh, pleasant, partly sunny, temperatures in the low 30s. First day of winter, says the calendar. Tuesday, snow showers 34. The weather remains seasonably chilly as we head towards Christmas Eve with temperatures in the low 30s. Coming up in a few minutes, Kristen, we're talking about. The science behind sleet and freezing rain, where it comes from. You no, know, Professor Cardis is going to give us a nice science lesson on that. I think that the mild days that we've seen this week just makes what we're expecting to see tomorrow that much harder. Well, shocks the system. Well, shocks, yeah. but seasonable. Yeah. All right, Bill. Thank you. Saturday Night Live has here with us tonight. We have a science lesson for you: sleet and freezing rain, and where it comes from. We turn now to Professor Bill Cardis to explain. That's right, Kristen. So this is a little bit more complicated than snow versus rain, and it all has to do with what is the air doing in the middle part of the atmosphere. With all snow, of course, it's uh, temperatures below freezing throughout the whole column, but with sleet, there's an area of warm air in between 
uh, cold air. So snow begins to fall. It runs into this warm layer. It melts into rain. And then as it heads towards the surface, it refreezes. And that's frozen raindrops known as sleet. If the warm air is thick enough, the rain doesn't get a chance to freeze until it hits the surface. We call this freezing rain. And the difference between sleet and freezing rain is that sleet pings and freezing rain clings. And we could see a little bit of both as we head into tomorrow as this push of warm air begins to roll through. Let's take a look at how this impacts travel as we head into Saturday. In the morning, it's not too bad. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to get around. But by the afternoon, as the snow begins to accumulate, it does get slippery. And into the evening time, when we start to see some sleet and freezing rain, the roadways could be quite messy here for a little while. This weather is going to improve as we head into Sunday. We're going to take a look at the forecast and how much snow accumulates before we see this changeover and also how the weather is looking like heading towards Christmas. And that's coming up. Kristen, back to you. Need a hat, Bill. <laughs> it's been raining across Kentucky to this half hour with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. I enjoyed your science lesson. <laughs> yeah, now let's talk about how much ice we can expect here. Uh, we're going to focus in on this area, especially in and south of the Mohawk Valley tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Again, starting out as snow, but then making a transition to sleet and freezing rain. As we know, and as we've experienced before, it doesn't take a lot of sleet or freezing rain to cause issues. This is just going to make things slippery as we continue uh, heading into this evening, or Saturday evening, and into early Saturday night. I wanted to show you a couple of pictures from earlier this week. Beautiful uh, sunrise. This was taken earlier in the week by Bob Joy and Clinton, and a beautiful sunset uh, by Mary over in Marcy. Uh, live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Things are looking quiet this evening. And if you're heading out, running some errands, not looking at any uh, weather here, just dry conditions and temperatures in the mid 30s. We're taking a look at the snowfall forecast before we see that change over to sleet and freezing rain, and that's coming up. Kristen, back to you. A nonprofit still in York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are tracking the next weather system likely to create some snow, some sleet, some freezing rain in central New York on Saturday. Let's take a live look at uh, Old Forge this evening, where we've seen a lot of warm weather across the whole area and really not a lot of snow on the ground. This is going to change tomorrow. We are expecting widespread snow to move in early, and then it's going to mix in with some sleet and freezing rain in parts of the area especially in the valley and, and south of the valley as we head into Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So plan on some slippery travel on Saturday. Sunday, the weather does look nice or at least dry, partly sunny temperatures in the low 30s. We are dry on the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Our sky watchers checking in in the 30s, Norway 36, Old Forge 34, Stratford 34 degrees, across the southern valleys, Worcester with 42 degrees, Cooperstown 41 and Sequoia with 35. The temperature trend will stay on the cooler side. We'll be below freezing as we head into uh, the next seven days, and that's a lot closer to where temp temperatures typically should be for this time of the year. Our focus is on Saturday. We've got an area of low pressure that will be moving into our area, producing a mix between snow, sleet, and freezing rain as it moves into the region. The storm track is very close to the area, so that means part of the warm air is going to get involved uh, creating that changeover. Storm, our Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, some snow breaks out Saturday morning from south to north. The first part of this event does feature all snow, at least the first uh, few hours. And the snow could come down at a, a pretty moderate clip uh, from time to time. And then it changes over to some sleet as we head into the afternoon and evening, especially in and south of the Mohawk Valley. This is where the, the trickiest part of the forecast comes into play, is how far north does this make it? Uh, likely making it into a good portion of the area. So that should cut down in snowfall totals here. And then as you head into tomorrow night, the precipitation comes to an end. Sunday is looking colder and blustery with temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s. As far as snowfall accumulation goes, before that changeover happens for most areas, we're thinking a general two to four inches of snowfall takes place. South of the valley where the changeover happens sooner, a trace to two inches, and where the snow holds on longer, across the north country, we could be talking about four to six inches of accumulation. It's expected to be a heavy, wet snowfall, so it's not going uh, to not going to take much to cause some very slippery travel across the area. So again, do plan accordingly. Cloudy skies tonight, low of 25. Tomorrow, snow changing to sleet. Temperatures in the low 30s. 
Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. On Sunday, temperatures will be in the low 30s with partly sunny skies. As we head into Monday, temperatures will stay in the low 30s. First day of winter, Tuesday, snow showers 34. Snow showers on Wednesday. Temperatures remain in the low 30s on Thursday and Friday. We'll be right back. Right off. We'll get into those stories in just a moment, but first, let's head over to Bill. Bill, how bad are the roads going to be looking tomorrow? Well, Sayera, it it's going to be a little tricky to get around tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. We're not expecting a lot of snow, but the roads will be slippery, especially with some mixing taking place. We have a winter weather advisory in effect for all of central New York. And again, this is going to be more than just snow, but a combination of snow, sleet, freezing rain, and even possibly rain. And this is how each one of these uh, types of precipitation forms. Snow, of course, is when air is below freezing throughout the whole column of air, you get into sleet and freezing rain when temperatures aloft go above freezing. So you have snow that melts into this warm layer, it melts into rain, and then it refreezes when it hits the ground. If it freezes before it hits the ground, it's called sleet. If it freezes on the ground, it's called freezing rain. We could see a little bit of both here as we head into tomorrow afternoon. As far as traveling wise, it looks uh, di uh, most dicey as we head into the afternoon and evening. Again, that wintry mix, snow changing over to sleet heading into the afternoon. We'll take a look at snowfall totals and when this uh, comes to an end, and that's coming up. Sarah, back to you. Thank you, Bill. Local school. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're taking a live look outside. This is our Cabby Tower Cam overlooking the city of Utica. The weather tonight looking pretty quiet, but that's going to change as we head into tomorrow. We're tracking snow initially Saturday morning, switching over to sleet, freezing rain, and even rain in parts of our area. A wintry mix on the way. Temperatures will be in the low 30s. Sunday, the weather does dry out. Temperatures will be near 30 for the high under partly sunny skies. Again, looking dry this evening. The weather stays dry tonight. Uh, temperature wise, we are going to stay on the cool side. We're going to be much cooler over the next seven days compared to where we were at over the past couple of days. High temperatures will be in the 30s. Tracking an area of low pressure approaching from the southwest. This is showing rain right now as it moves into Ohio, but notice the leading edge is starting to turn over to snow. As this runs into colder air, we will see a transition over to snow uh, by the time it gets here on Saturday morning. Storm Tracker 2 Skycast. So, Saturday morning, this starts out as snow, widespread snow breaking out between about 7 to 9 o'clock in the morning for areas south of the Mohawk Valley, 9 to 11 o'clock in the morning for areas north of the Mohawk Valley. The snow is widespread and steady early on. This is where we could see some slippery spots uh, during the late morning to early afternoon uh, as temperatures basically hold steady. Warm air works in aloft, and this is going to change snow over to sleet. A lot of times it's hard to get rid of cold air in central New York, but not above the, the uh, floor, the valley floor. Uh, this air is going to have not a hard time at all getting into the area. So we're expecting a changeover to sleet in the afternoon, perhaps even over to rain, especially south uh, into Hamilton and Norwich and into Shenango and Otsego counties. This comes to an end tomorrow evening. Temperatures will remain in the 20s tomorrow night. And then Sunday, we do expect dry and chillier weather with temperatures only topping out in the upper 20s to low 30s. Snowfall amounts one to three inches expected for the Mohawk Valley. I lowered the numbers slightly for this area by about an inch less just because I think there's going to be a faster changeover taking place, a trace to an inch of snow across the southern valleys. Still thinking about three to six inches of snowfall for the Adirondacks in North Country, where it takes a lot longer, if at all, to turn over to sleet. Cloudy skies tonight, low of 25. Tomorrow, snow changing to sleet and a wintry mix, a high of 32. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast, dry Sunday and Monday. Uh, some snow showers expected Tuesday and Wednesday. Dry weather as we head into Christmas Eve with temperatures in the low 30s. We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us. Jason has the night off. We'll get into those stories in just a moment, but first, let's head over to Bill. Bill, how bad are the weather? Is the weather going to be tomorrow? Hey, we are tracking uh, slippery conditions. The biggest concern is going to be a mix between snow and sleet, even a little bit of freezing rain. It's going to be arriving Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So if you're going to be 
Traveling tomorrow, just keep that in mind. Our entire area is under the winter weather advisory. This initially starts out as snow, but as warm air starts to move into the middle part of the atmosphere, it starts to create this change in precipitation. You can see how this works out in some of these examples in front of you. This uh, red area represents warm air moving into the middle of the atmosphere, and it causes snow to melt, and then it refreezes before it hits the ground. That's called sleet. If it freezes on the ground, if that warm uh, layer is thicker, that's called freezing rain. So sleet pings, freezing rain clings, and we'll be likely seeing both of those as we head into tomorrow. As far as traveling goes, this is going to be most problematic as we head into uh, the afternoon and evening. Again, when we're seeing that wintry mix take place, snow, sleet, and perhaps some freezing rain. This is not expected to be a big snowfall accumulation, but we will have some. We'll have a look at that snowfall map coming up. Sarah, back to you. Thank you, Bill. Local school districts. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening and welcome back. We're taking a live look outside. This is our CAV Tower Cam. It's looking dry uh, tonight, and it will be dry through about early tomorrow. We're tracking that wintry mix for Saturday. The weather will dry out Sunday. Sunday will be the nicer of the two weekend days. If you have to go out and run some errands, that would be the day to do that. Radar and satellite image, again, looking pretty quiet across the region. Temperatures will stay in the 30s here over the next several days. All right, let's take a look at what's happening here for Saturday. Low pressure will be moving in from the southwest. This is producing some rain, but as this rain rolls into some colder air, it does transition over to snow. And that's how things will start Saturday morning. We're expecting widespread steady snow. Uh, in and south of the Mohawk Valley, the start time will be about 8 to uh, 10 a.m. North of the valley, 10 a.m. to about noontime. Again, some slippery roads early with this, but we're expecting a rapid changeover from snow to sleet. Even some pockets of freezing rain across the Mohawk Valley. The tendency with these types of systems is the warm air tends to lift farther to the north and even our computer models tend to predict here. So I think it's even possible that the north country gets into sleet from time to time uh, heading into Saturday afternoon. The bottom line is regardless of the precipitation, it's expected to be slippery out there on the roadways, whether it's snow, sleet, or especially freezing rain. And you're going to want to budget some time if you're going to be heading out and uh, take it slow on the roadways. Precipitation comes to an end Saturday evening and we'll get a chance to dry out Saturday night. Sunday looks like a cold, blustery day. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s. As for snowfall, again, uh, generally an inch or two of accumulation across the Mohawk Valley. We did slightly lower these numbers since earlier today. Again, uh, we're not literally expecting a lot of snowfall accumulation with that fast changeover. In fact, south of the valley, only a trace to an inch of snow. North Country could see at least about three to six inches of snowfall. But again, even there, we could see some sleep mixing in. Cloudy skies tonight, low of 25. Tomorrow, looking at, again, snow changing over to sleet and freezing rain. Temperatures in the low 30s. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast. Dry on Sunday and Monday. Temperatures in the low 30s. Snow showers Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures remain in the 30s into Christmas Eve. Sayara. Thank you, Bill. Up next,